Virtual, uh, with Rapid Technologies. It's them down at Smart uh, in London, uh, demonstrating to clients uh, some of the smartboard technologies they have down here. So I thought it was a good opportunity to maybe do a video blog on some of the great developments that are going on with Smart at the moment. We're using a, a smartboard 680i, which isn't particularly new. It's um, an integrated projector, as you can see directly above me. But it's a short throw projector, so you see the shadow isn't as big an issue. But what I am using, which is a little bit exciting today, is I'm using the Smart Hub, which is a, a box that plugs into your smart board, allows any PC to be connected to the smart board without actually having a smart notebook or smart board software on. So it's great for a business meeting room where CEOs just want to come in a room and start working straight away. So in sort of default mode, when you start working on it for the first time, um, I'm just going to clear this one. This is something we were working on earlier. Um, it comes up in a sort of whiteboard mode. And the whiteboard mode means that I come in, write a note on the board, like so, make my notes, and then just add pages as I want to go along. Uh, no, add a, add a page, like so. We can just build up pages, so one, two, three. A bit like a flip chart, really. But you can see, from this point of view, you can easily navigate through the slides you've created. I can also jump into my PC here as well and actually capture notes from my PC. So I'll pick up a pen, make a note around here, say notes on, press the capture tool here, it captures it, and it allows me to then go back into our whiteboard feature and see the note that I've captured. So two very simple things to do. One, create notes on the board. Two, being able to capture my notes from Windows and bring them in here. The hub also has a client that links into a Bridget server. So if you have a Bridget server, it's great. It means that you can share your board as well. So it has that already built in. So if I want to and click on share a screen and it allows me to share with uh, another participant, I haven't got that set up at the moment. So anyway, that just introduces the 680i and the smart hub, which I think is a really great solution you should consider. Next thing I want to show, this is the new SmartBoard 685iX, which is a, an ultra short throw projector. You can see it's got a very um, low profile in terms of being much closer to the board. The board's a little bit wider, it's an 85 inch wide board. But the thing I really want to show you about this, so it's got the ultra short throw projector and we're using the hub technology again. The really great thing about this board is that it's, I've actually got this one on a mobile stand. So it can go in a, a fixed location like a room or a, a classroom or whatever it might be. This one's a st stand that can move from room to room. You've also got a facility on here for being able to raise, raise the screen or lower it as well, depending on the environment you're working in. So you have, if you have people with access issues, you can get it really down low there. And you've also got the option for being able to um, wheel it through doors so you can bring it lower to get it through door frames and, and stuff like that. So that's all the great all the great functionality of a, a smart board as you can see. So we make all my smart notes. But it's also an ultra short throw so shadow isn't nearly a big an issue because of this ultra short throw projector that we're using. You'll also notice in this room as well if I turn the camera around we have over here Screens. This is a, an LCD overlay. You probably can't quite make up the image on it. It's a website that's on there at But again, it's a, an overlay that goes on the screen that gives us touch control capability. So if we want to reset the room. So we're using the smart hub again, as you can see. Well, it's got all the great functionality of a normal touch screen or uh, a, an interactive whiteboard. So if I was to say, for instance, it's a single pen with this one. Choose the pen colour that I want to do. So if I want to choose green for instance, make a note on the board. For instance, press capture. It should capture that into our whiteboard software that's in here as well. And if I go back to whiteboard, you'll see that's a screenshot. 